Have you ever wondered how scientists view tiny objects that are invisible to the naked eye? Well, they often use a tool known as a compound microscope, a type of optical microscope that utilizes multiple lenses to magnify and observe minuscule objects. Its name, compound, stems from its unique system of two or more lenses working in harmony to generate a magnified image. The compound microscope is a marvel of scientific instrumentation, with each component playing a vital role. The objective lenses, typically in multiples and with different magnification levels, allow users to switch between them to achieve a range of magnification. Then, at the very top of the microscope, you'll find the eyepiece, or ocular lens, where observers peer in to view the magnified image. Generally, the eyepiece has a standard magnification of 10 times. To enhance the visibility of the specimen, most compound microscopes are equipped with an illumination system, often located beneath the stage. Speaking of the stage, this is the platform where the specimen is placed for observation, typically with clips or a mechanical stage for holding and moving the specimen. Adjustment of the microscope's focus is handled by two sets of mechanisms, coarse adjustment and fine adjustment. Coarse adjustment comes into play for initial focusing, while fine adjustment allows for meticulous focusing. The condenser, located beneath the stage, is responsible for focusing light onto the specimen to improve image contrast. The diaphragm, situated beneath the condenser, regulates the amount of light reaching the specimen thus enabling enhancement or reduction of image contrast. Now, the compound microscope doesn't merely magnify, it's a tool of discovery. It's used in the biological sciences for observing cells, tissues, and microorganisms, and in the study of anatomical structures in plants and animals. In medicine and pathology, it serves for the examination of blood cells, bacteria, and other microorganisms, and aids in the diagnosis of diseases through analysis of tissues and cells. Microbiologists use it to investigate bacteria, fungi, and protozoa, and to analyze microbial structures and behaviors. It's a fundamental tool in scientific research across multiple disciplines, including materials, science, chemistry, and physics. And in forensic science, it's used for the analysis of biological samples, hair, fibers, and other evidence, helping in the identification of microscopic clues in criminal investigations. So there we have it, the compound microscope, a marvel of science, a tool of discovery, and an essential instrument across a multitude of disciplines. It's a window into the unseen world, bringing the smallest details of existence into sharp, clear focus.